Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and in Humans vs. X-Men issue number one, it's here, it's here, and it's bi-weekly also. So, yeah, we'll be getting a lot of this. And also, I thought this was only going to issue number four. Apparently this is going at least into March with issue number six. Impressive. Most impressive. I think that means they simply got more story to tell, which is good. Guys, Beast realizes that time is out. And now the final reason is revealed. Time is out because inside of two weeks, the molecular bonds that hold together the Terrigen Mist will actually break apart. And it won't just be a cloud of Terrigen Mist. The Terrigen Mist will engulf the entire Earth. That's wild. That's really wild. Now, looking around in the different other comics that are out there, like the Marvel Civil War, uh, you know, the second Civil War that's going on right now, just... Uh, apparently ending uh, going into the future a possible future po potentially they meet up with Wolverine and Wolverine says that all the Inhumans have left the Earth a while ago that's one of the main reasons why the Earth you know is shattered New Jersey looks like Arizona but here they're saying that the X-Men have two choices and it's not the Inhumans telling the X-Men no the X-Men themselves are saying we have two choices leave the planet or die well emma frost of course comes up with plan c and says no we can also fight now what they're fighting i guess they're planning on killing the inhumans or at least restraining them so that they can get the time together to attack the terrigen mist without being attacked by the inhumans because the inhumans will attack them for this and the inhumans are still going around in the riv the big space fortress and they're collecting mutants when they're in the path of the Terrigen Mist. So they're doing everything they can to help the mutants. I mean, the mutants aren't even doing that. You know, the Inhumans are the ones doing that. This is actually a really sad comic because Beast tries to explain this stuff and everybody is saying, listen, we're just going to fight. I don't know what to tell you. And Beast goes to leave and they're afraid that he might tell, <laughs> like tattletale on them and give the Inhumans a, a heads up. So Aurora Storm actually fries him in the back with a lightning bolt. He actually requires medical attention. She doesn't really hold back very much. I mean, it came from her hands, and those bolts are always much weaker than her calling from, you know, the top, but they are in a big metal case, so I don't know how it would get. Anyway, the point is that, yeah, she hurts him, and she hurts him bad. So, because it's part of her plan, too. And the plan is actually executed pretty well. You know who they send to to take out Black Bolt? Dazzler, Allison Blair. Yeah, she's disguised in the quiet room that's that's neutral ground for the Inhumans, that's Black Bolt's nightclub. She got hired as a uh, rotational singer, and they they loved her so much. Flagman, some, I don't know, worthless Inhuman, says that, uh, you know, hey man, you know, this girl's awesome. We want to offer a full-time contract. Well, she's a good singer because it's Dazzler, Dazzler the movie. <laughs> a good Marvel graphic novel. And bang. So she, you know, purposely takes the brunt of Black Bolt's whisper and she converts it into pure light energy, uh, photon, solid light particles, and boom, hits him with a laser. Not a laser that would have cut through him. Some kind of a photon blast that sends him through multiple walls, knocks him the hell out. I mean, wow. Wow. I did not think of that way to take out Black Bolt. I really didn't. I expected it would have been Magneto who would have gone after him. But, oh well. Anyway, yeah, he got taken out. <laughs> and um, and his voice was also dropped because Emma was there and she turned into Diamond and oh, hit him in the throat. Really wicked stuff that's happening here. I mean, like it's actually sad the way they're doing things. One of the mutants that the Inhumans rescue in the RIV is Magneto, but they don't realize it's Magneto. It's in Russia someplace, and they rescue him, but they, what they actually wound up doing was bringing him inside the ship. They're getting ready to get him a meal and, and get him checked out and drop him off wherever he wants to go. You know, just help him. Like, humanitarian effort. And freaking Magneto, while he sits there talking about, my people will not be gassed. It's funny, the hypocrisy that has always been Magneto. You will not hurt my people. Oh, but I'll do whatever the hell I want to you and yours. So now that he's inside the RIV, past all the ship's external defenses, 
he uses his magneto his magneto powers his magnetic powers and he destroys the riv and captures all the inhumans at least he didn't kill them but still like you just destroyed the riv this was the ship that they were using to to help the mutants uh i i just don't even know what to say anymore it's really sad what's going on but ah you know what it is what it is so yeah the inhumans are being attacked and now a whole wave is coming after queen medusa's area a hey, johnny storm is there and i was actually mentioning in one of my previous uh previews that you know don't worry about the 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 x-men being wiped out they're not going to be wiped out yes they're getting rid of the x-men titles but they're not going to get rid of all the x-men they're not going to get rid of all the mutants they're not going to get rid of old man logan they're not going to get rid of storm they're not going to get rid of magneto there's a lot of characters are just not going to lose i mean they got rid of the fantastic four right but johnny storm is here in this very comic he still exists even though there's no more ff comic for a year year and a half now so there's that and the thing is in the infamous iron man comics and he's in a couple other places too and he's, he's just got a serial that was released in nova issue number one i just reviewed last week i mean the guy's everywhere so they're not going to get rid of all of these mutants they're just going to get rid of the titles and yes some mutants will die it looks like some inhumans will die too um gene gray going after karnak is worth the read very impressed with how they decided to do that so impressive anyway guys i love this comic i'm giving this an a professor bell comic book university class dismissed